Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll see the four effective habits which has helped me to go from an worst student where I used to get like 50 to 55 percent, and these four habits has helped me to jump from an above average student where I started getting 75 to 80 percent. And this has not only helped me in my study journey, but whichever field I have jumped into after studies, whether it's work, whether it's business, or whether it is this YouTube journey, it has helped me in every situation. So before jumping on to the first habit, 90% of people miss out on this basic, which is boost your brain power. When we learn something phenomenal happens in our brain and we start making new connection between our neuron and this process is called as neuroplasticity. Let's kick down this scientific term I'll make you understand in much more simpler way. The more time you spend learning a specific skill or recalling those information, the stronger the connection become and that's how you can boost your brain power. So let's jump on to the first habit which is spaced repetitions. Space repetition is also known as the spacing effect in simple words and it is a common studying strategy I've been using for long-term learning. Let me give you one simple example. Everybody knows a periodic table and first I used to try to memorize the periodic table but I never used to succeed in memorizing it. Then I tried to use the spacing effect and this is how it goes. So the first day I used to learn the first row, the second day I used to revise it. The third day I again used to learn the first row, the fourth day I used to revise it. And I used to do this process till the time I didn't made a strong connection. As I told you about neuroplasticity and this is how I was able to memorize the periodic table. Our brain is always active and processing information for long-term process and even recovering memories when needed. So spacing out and sorting out information enhance the brain efficiency in both storage and retrieval process. So let's now jump on the second habit which is active recall. Active recall is a simple technique and a way to get information out of your memory by testing yourself at each step of your revision process. It is very simple. Let me explain it to you. When you are studying for your exam and trying to learn those key points or the main event of any subject instead of passively reading those textbooks, which mistake even I have done in my study journey, this recall technique has changed the game for myself. First, you have to cover up the section of your textbook that discuss, let's say, civil war and then you have to remember every main event related to it. Now, let's jump on to the second step, which is write or speak. After attempting to recall, you have to write it down or verbally explain it to yourself what you remember about civil war without looking at the textbook. This forces you to retrieve information directly from your memory rather than relying on your textbook. And for the start, it will be little difficult. But if you stick to the plan, this will literally change the game for you. After you have done writing or speaking, what you have recalled, every human still makes a mistake. At that time, you have to open your textbook and see is there anything missing or anything that has gone wrong. The key point here is that instead of passively reading your textbook, try to use this recall technique which will help you more effectively in a long-term retention. I just want to be honest with you, this habit has helped me in my multitasking journey. But for this, you have to first be consistent. And this practice involves involve mixing of different topics or subject in your study journey instead of focusing on a single topic for extended period. And there is nothing wrong on focusing on a single topic for an extended period. I wanted to learn multitasking. That is why I implemented this habit into my journey. In my study session, as I used to keep on working on my algebra problem, first I used to solve that. Then I used to switch on geometry theorem. And after that, I used to switch on calculus problem. And as you keep on switching each topic, this is what happens. This promotes cognitive flexibility and adapt this will strengthen your understanding level which will help you to multitask. This practice has helped me to avoid the blocking effect and this challenge could be very challenging. But if you master it, then you will be having a next level of confidence within yourself. 
staying up all night and remembering those equation could be tempting at the start, but it is ineffective. This is for the all nighters. I was in this category and that is why I was getting 50 to 55 percent mark. And if you want to change this because this leads to forgetfulness, it increases stress sensitivity. And the third is very much important. It brings the worst and the bad grades. Therefore, prior to exam, try to aim a beautiful seven to eight hours of sleep because this will help your brain to strengthen the information which you have learned during the day. And these four habits has helped me to transform myself as a student from a 50% mark to 80% mark. And this is very effective. Rest is like charging your phone so that it will make sure that it will work the next day. So rest could be anything for you. For me, it's like reading down books, going for cycling, having my workout properly and even looking at a wall or a tree and taking a few deep breaths. These four habits has helped me to transform myself as a better student. So if you have liked this movie for whatsoever reason, if you have got any sense of value through it, hit that like, share and subscribe button. I'll see you in my next movie. Till then, smile because what's life. Bye-bye. Woo!